My name is Lauren Kavisky. I'm 21 years old, and I used to be on Smoed through 2015. So um, I'm in college now, but I'm back home for break, and I live down the street from the gym, and of course I have to visit my people, so that's why I'm here. I love being back here, especially because Reckless has people um, that I've cheered with before. So I'm actually, you know, seeing my friends practice, which is nice. It's good to be back here to see everybody still active and, you know, still in cheer. It's weird to see Joey on a team. Everyone's favorite episode to watch of me is Love is in the Air. Every time. I met Lauren in 2011. Ah, I knew this was coming! <laughs> I knew you were gonna ask this. And we were friends first. And then um, when it came like around world's time in 2011, I kind of saw her as more than a friend. And so I started talking to her and um, we found that we really liked each other. If I don't date Joey, I don't think um, there's anyone better that I could date personally. They, they just they like to say, love is in the air. And I'm like, okay. And then kids on my team that I always start coaching, they're like, how's Lauren? I feel like he's disappeared for like years and now he's back. <laughs> I don't know. Like, hey, okay. <laughs> Me and Lauren, I mean, she, she's away in Michigan at college, and then I was away in Kansas, and we just haven't really connected ever since we were on a team together. And so since then, we see each other around at the gym, obviously. Um, but it's more of just like a cordial hello, and just because we've been so distant from each other for so long. When I look back on it, it's, it, was, uh, it was a fun time. When I graduate, I feel like I'll be dragged back into cheer, but we'll see, hopefully that doesn't happen. <laughs> It's World's Month, so we have no practices off. We might, I think we get this Friday off, and that's our last practice that we get off until World. Can you do something sexy and cute with Emma Queen, and then do your one? Okay. okay. I'll ask. And I'm like, can you do something sexy? She's like, I'll ask Bobby. <laughs> so World's Month is exhausting, to be honest, but it's worth it. It's a lot of hard work. It's the last push of the season, it's where you gotta like push and keep going and tell yourself you got this and tell your teammates they got this because it's literally a month straight of practices. I have a lot of faith in this team. Like last year was kind of um, iffy. We were still on a kind of rough patch. So um, it's a lot better where we are this year than we were last year. So I have a little bit more confidence. It's not easy on any team. It's definitely a time where we push and we're in the gym like almost every day. The last time I performed at Worlds was in 2017 and it was my fourth year going to Worlds. I think that going to Worlds this year is gonna be different for sure since I'm on a different level now and I've never performed level six obviously. Just full out after full out after full out. Come back the next day and do the same thing over and over again until we get consistent. Three, four, press! And first time, who is it? All girl, you're up! So I got my cast off and then the doctor put me into a boot. And I'm supposed to have the boot on until for another like four weeks, but I just took it off and for cheer I'm in a, I just taped my foot and have an ankle brace. So I'm just cheering with that right now. You guys circle around and rally them up. Let's go. And so the first day I came back from practice, um, the only reason why I was kind of nervous was for the round off into the elite section and the round off rewinds in the pyramid. It was just like the scariest part because that's like the only like part where I have to really like put all of my pressure on. So I was really nervous. So like the week before I, start, I was in the routine, I was just doing round offs onto like the, onto a mat. It like, it hurts, like, I'm not gonna lie. Bree, on your set, 
from the round off in, you're really, really wide. Close it up just a tad bit more so you land on Sierra's shoulder and not on her boob. So Bree just got back and you know, she's still working through injury. She's not 100% yet. You know, her um, her ankle's still a little bit like uh, weak. So like we're just working through that. Plus we also got Stevie and she's like so talented. So, you know, I think we just had to work on our chemistry a little bit and then like just get the feeling back. So last year I was in a group with Stevie and we were in the back left corner. We were all girl. And our stunt was like the most, it was so consistent and I just felt so comfortable in that pod. We were really good. And this year she's in my pod again. And one, two, that's three, four, and five. Down, seven, up, one, catch, three, that's three. Clean, five, down, sir. We gotta make sure her feet are coming down evenly. If not, she's not gonna get an even push. Vanessa's back and she's in my stunt group. I can't believe it. Vanessa's been here from the very beginning, Sexy Six and every year of Reckless. So it's so good to have like a vet back that like knows how to handle like level six and who's been to worlds and getting a lot of our vets back going into worlds i feel more comfortable because i know that they've competed at worlds for a number of years and i it's just good going into worlds knowing that i can trust certain people on the floor with oh i know they've been through it they understand they know the pressure and they can handle it really fine over one Two and three, four and five, seven and one, two and three, four and five, six, seven and one, two, three, four and five, six, seven and one, three and four, five, seven and stop, stop there. Try that again. When you're when you're coming down from your back tuck, your arms are fine, but when you stand up from your back tuck, put your arms up. You're not over it. You're here. So where are you gonna travel to? So pull yourself over that tuck, okay? Ready, one. Orby was pretty much, he was like, okay, so for Worlds, you're just gonna be center. So I'm just trying to like save, not my energy, but trying to get better for college. Cause I, I'm going to Cal Baptist University um, and they're, they have an all girl program. And college is way different experience and the cheerleading is different. Cause I still have four years left on dead mat and I have to tumble and yeah, I have to tumble and I have to stunt. So spring floor, there's springs in it and it's way easier. You just hop, it's kind of like, it's in the middle of a trampoline and like, let's say like a regular cheer mat. And then a dead floor is literally just a mat on a concrete. And it's just, it's just a way different way of tumbling and doing cheerleading. Let's go. Brittany's taking over. We have a new coach, her name is Brittany. We've worked with her high school for a few years now. And then finally we had her guest coach this year and she just fell in love with the program, fell in love with the way that we do things here. And she agreed to come out uh, twice a week. So we're really, really excited to have her because we've been working on her for a long, 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 long time. This has been hitting pretty good? Today. Yesterday it was hitting decent, no? Okay. Three, four, five, seven, eight. That was terrible. So the leg that I broke is my post leg and my flying leg. So it's just, I wasn't walking on it because I had my cast on for about a month. So it's just really weak right now. You guys, be a little bit more patient with it. Focus on the technique behind everything. I think I tore through my ligaments and tendons. So I'm just trying to like regain like that muscle back and just the, like all the muscle in my leg. So I guess it's just really hard right now. And um, we have a new back spot, Stevie. So just the chemistry, we have to regain it and like rework through the stunt again. When Brie got hurt, we kind of had a few weeks or a few practices where we didn't stun at all. And then we got Gabby for all of two days. And then we also got her for one day before NCA. But after that, we also came back and we still had to give Brie a little bit more time for her ankle because she still had her cast on. So then we um, had two more weeks of not stunting. And then we started to stunt. And then we still couldn't go as hard as we wanted to just because, you know, she was still hurt. Practice when I came back, like we were just like falling all over the place and I was thinking like Gabby could do this in like two practices like why am I struggling like I need to like focus. So I've been cheering for about like 12 years my whole life since I was like four and a half 
and just like it being my last world, my last like all-star like competition, it's just really like, it's just sad, honestly, because it's my life, so. You guys, like, get the defeated look off your face. Like, you guys can't be defeated, like, already. Like, you have this. You guys did this yesterday, and you did it multiple times. You can do it again. You have this. It hurts, I'm not gonna lie. It hurts, but I only have three weeks left for Worlds, so I'm just pushing through it. It just makes me realize like what's gonna happen the next four years because I'll be done. So I'm just like realizing and like taking it all in for these last three weeks. I'm excited to close this chapter of my life like on a good note with at California All Stars. So this weekend we have a comp in Irvine, Jams Comp. We've been preparing for that just to show our final upgrades that we've been working really hard on. This is our last competition before Worlds. Don't forget your prep. Let's go.